Back with a brand new banger on the channel, guys. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get FPS unlocker inside of Roblox. If you guys are on this channel, go ahead, do me a favor, drop a like, subscribe. It takes less than three seconds to do that, and I really would appreciate it. We're on the grind to 10,000 subscribers. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Shift F5, and my FPS unlocker actually turned off. Let me go ahead and reopen it. But basically, FPS unlocker uh, it basically turns off the FPS cap, and the FPS cap caps it to 60 FPS by default by Roblox. I don't know why Roblox would want this, but um, in a lot of games, FPS unlocker is very, very, very good. Like inside of uh, Island Royale, I know it makes you glide fast if they patched, and at one point it even made you scope in faster. So that was also a, a, a perk. But something that I do want to give you guys out like a disclaimer right now is that when you're using fps locker it's not going to make you look like it looks like you're running fast but in reality you're not really running as fast and something else that's also it's not like a competitive advantage but it's a lot smoother and it's really great for content creators because um as you guys know if you're playing a really cpu um usage like a very very cpu um heavy duty game like uh say you're playing island where i know like this happens a lot to a lot of us island Royale streamers but I use FPS Unlocker when I'm streaming Island Royale because like when I stream it, it uses a lot of CPU for like the game and for the um, actual, you know, OBS. Even Because even though OBS does use, you know, GPU for recording, it does use CPU only for streaming. So that's another reason why. But uh, I guess what I'm going to tell you guys is that um, once again, if you guys want to find out more about this, keep watching. Uh, there's we're no work done to the close. Like, close to ending the video but um i'll show you guys in a second of me going to the website and how you guys can actually install fps unlocker all right boys so as you guys can see right here we are on the website github and it says roblox fps unlocker 4.0 so what you want to do is you want to go down to download here 32 bit or 64 bit depending depending on what type of windows you have but if it doesn't work for whatever one you got um, just try and download the other one. Um, basically, what it's gonna do once again is it's gonna uncap your FPS inside of Roblox because this is a very, very dumb idea on Roblox part. I feel like it should not be. You should at least have the option if you want to cap. You know, like in games like Fortnite, you have the option to cap it to a certain FPS, which is pretty dumb because I mean, like a lot of players want to uncap their PCs. I mean, no one's gonna want to spend six thousand or like even a thousand dollars on a PC only for it to be used on Roblox and they can't even see more than sixty FPS. But I mean, a lot of people are probably wondering, hey. What's the point of me downloading this if I can only see, you know, 60 FPS on my monitor since I have a 60 hertz monitor? No, when you use this, it's going to look a lot smoother, even if you have a 60 hertz monitor. And it's something I really love about FPS Locker. It makes it look a lot smoother and looks very, very professional in my opinion. Especially if you're a YouTuber, it does look very professional and it just helps you along with, you know, streaming and OBS. So, as you guys see right here, it's no longer injected. So, for you guys who watched my my previous tutorial about how to get it for Shrewsit, it's no longer be injected. So, it doesn't come up as a Trojan anymore. It's not even a Trojan, but it was detected as a Trojan because it was actually injecting it inside the game. So, that's why it was seen as in, you know, Trojan because Windows does not allow stuff like that, right? Because you're, you're exploiting in a game, basically. You're not really exploiting, but now it's not considered exploiting or injecting. And... Once again, it says you cannot detect it because it's not injection anymore. No more injector, you know, and uh, you cannot be banned anymore for it. And uh, they took, got rid of VSync, and now you don't need Roblox to be using D3, D1, 1, 2 run, you know, as well as you can use it for 64 bit versions of Roblox as well as Studio. And there's support for Roblox Windows 10. So if you don't have the actual Roblox, you have it like a Chromebook and you download it off the Windows App Store, you can do that as well. And now when you close it, it automatically goes down to, you know, exit. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna download it, right? If you have, um, I don't know if you're gonna need this, but I'm pretty sure you might need WinRAR. And if you don't have WinRAR, you can easily search it up or Google it and get it. And what you wanna do after that, you wanna basically download it. As you guys see right here, I'm gonna click the 64 bit because I have 64 bit. I already have it downloaded, so let's just imagine I don't need that, okay? Let's get rid of that. Let's let's imagine I don't need it at all, okay? And what you're gonna wanna do is let's just click it, you know? And once you do that, you're going to want to go ahead to Roblox FPS Unlocker application. And yeah, as you guys see right there, I well you guys can't even see it on my screen because I'm only showing my my Chrome bullet. When you open it, it's gonna give you option to join application. And yeah, let's go back to the game and I'll show you guys how it looks when you play it inside of game with like actual players. So you see you guys see the difference between you and other players. 
all right boys we are inside of a private server i mean actually a public server right now and as you guys see i'm not getting as high as fps but i'm still getting above 60 and it's mainly because inside of games like this you have a lot of buildings and a lot of you know background processes such as building once again and it's really going to you know turn down your fps and it's not bad it's still above 60 fps which is more than you know enough so as long as you have 60 fps it's going to help you and it looks like almost everyone is running but in reality they're not it's just how that fps locker looks so if you guys did enjoy this video once again go ahead and subscribe i would really appreciate it we're trying to hit 1000 subscribers and i'll catch you guys in the next one your boy squad then out Right.